Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Dawn here. So, today I'm with you because our lovely Julia, it, would you believe that she has been in business now. She started doing her drawings a year ago. So, to celebrate, she's actually offering the um, Cocktail Girls half price, which I just think is fab. So... Um, what I thought I would do is actually come on and make a card um, using Stylite Daiquiri um, because I don't know if you remember, I hauled um, a die that I got from Sizzix. Um, so it's a framelit die and it is of this strawberry and it's just gorgeous and I did buy this with this in mind. It was only a few pounds um, but if you are wanting it, um, it was from Creative Rocks. I'm not sure if there's any left in stock. Um, um, but the item number is 664115 so I'm going to make um, a card using this um, so to colour it we're going to make it a quick easy card so to colour it I am just going to use my um, oh what do you call it I don't want pink do I I want red oh that was my drinking water and I've just put my paintbrush in it so I guess I won't be using that um yeah so I'm just going to use my watercolors um to color it so I'm just going to keep it very very um very loose and we are going to fussy cut it um because I just think sometimes you know we're all very busy um and we don't want to spend hours actually um <clears throat> spending hours coloring in our um, images so I thought it would be nice if today we just added some watercolor and yeah so that's what we're doing um, so as you can see really quick and easy and very effective as well so we're going to give her blonde hair like I said I am going to be fussy cutting her out so I'm quite happy um, but then I quite like going out of the lines when I'm watercolouring. I just think it looks really nice. Um, I want to bring a bit more of this um, red colour in. Um, just a little bit darker. Um, just sort of on the strawberries in her hair. And oh, I'm loving that it's sort of merging into each other as well. I love that. So make sure I get all my little hearts as well I'm just adding in my darker tones um, so I'm not very good with light lighting or where you're meant to put it um, I really do do what um, I just sort of yeah go with it um, I suppose now I've never made a skin color before so let's give this a whirl see what we can come up with ah oh, that looks like an alright skin color so there we go just yep oh, loving that absolutely how pretty is that I just think that looks really really nice now I do need a little bit of green um, so just to add in um, just along the bottom here um, and maybe little touches there perfect um, maybe add just a darker bit of green yeah love it absolutely love it so there it is that is um our image already colored um so i'm going to quickly while that's drying i'll pop that off to the side and uh, just to remind you we also have melody mojito which she is gorgeous um we also have oh now i don't have her name on here oh dear I can't remember but she's still gorgeous absolutely gorgeous we do have the accessories and we have a Penelope collider and then we also have our sentiments as well so um yeah so that is what we're going to use now I've just realized that actually um I'm using my photocopy ones but luckily the other ones are in there and I can um, re-download them any time that I would like. Right, I'm just going to um, put her out ever so slightly. Okay, let's pop her just off to the side. Now, on this plate, 
um, I have all of my bits sort of cut out and um, there is my card base so um, I thought we'll do a strawberry card base um, I've done a few different um, colours we have our green tops um, and then we also have our um, seeds as well so let us while my image is drying let us build it together now I was going to put this one on um, however I quite like this darker colour um, I have also this is a sticker this um, shiny one is actually a sticker so I quite like that um, but I'm trying to decide sort of which one to go with I mean they're not going to go to it actually we'll do it that way um, they're not going to go to it so um, I will be making more with them let's open I'm hoping I can get this a really good um, sort of yeah placement let's hope anyway I thought perfect oh love it so um and would you believe i have a very little red card in my stash so um yeah this is actually about all i have and i only have a couple of sheets of each so it might be worth me actually going and getting myself some more um bits and pieces now um and just grab my glue i think i need to unclog it just there we go i want to say that works no, I need to grab a pin just because I don't think, yeah. So when I unclog my glue, I always go from the inside and out. Um, I just find um, it works so much better. So uh, grab my picky up tool and then what we're going to do is add in our strawberry seeds. So going to have five along the bottom so I have done plenty oh make sure they are the right way around there we go um, I'm thinking actually I may need a bit more glue on because they've sort of got a little delve in them but then I don't want to put too much on because I don't really want them um, a two leak so there's that one and this one so we do have a range of big and a small um, seeds with when you do them which I think is really cool so let's do some here so I'm going to do the big ones again if we have enough so actually do you know it really is much better with my pickup tool um so this pickup tool i actually made myself um so it's just a porky tool um one that actually um was no good as a porky tool anymore because i'd bent the the nib on it um and then um i put some um I'm going to go on to the smaller ones now, I think. Yeah. Um, and then I, I put on the end of it some um, of the, oh, what's that? Um, like a moldable rubber. So you can, um, like a putty rubber. So I put a bit of that on the end. And you know what? It's worked wonders. And then I just sort of um, remold it every now and again. Um, yeah. And it works an absolute treat. So I am loving it. So I've um, got four more there. So one, they're all sort of the wrong way. Two, three, and four. And then I think I'm just going to do one last line of them. So there's no sort of um, like theme or anything to what I'm doing here. So this, I think this line is going to end up actually being a mix of the different ones. So let's pop the bigger ones in the centre. There we go. And then the littler ones on the outside. 
there we are okay so I've got two left on there so there is the front of our card now I'm going to grab the card base um, and we're just going to pop some glue all the way around so I'm making sure I have plenty and then I'm going to adhere this on before we do anything else and we add anything else to it so just like that so there is our strawberry card now we just need to do the top part so the top part will actually cover those ones but it just sits like that now I've got two different pieces um, and I don't know whether to do the metallic one with the lighter green on top or to do the lighter green with the metallic on top a lighter green with the metallic I think works perfectly so let's stick this together so this is really a super easy card to put together the longest time I would say is actually doing the die cutting um, but I did really enjoy doing that that was really fun so and then I'm just going to pop some glue just on the, the middle bit because we don't want it to sort of seep out and then that will go on top like that so there we have our making sure it is straight there we go so there is our strawberry card how cool is that and then we've got a bit of glue on the back but that will dry clear so I'm okay with that right so we don't need those bits but we can use them on another card now I'm just going to grab my scissors and what we're going to do is um let's fussy cut out our gorgeous girl um so this is starlight daiquiri um so let's get her and I think she'll look gorgeous just sat on the front yeah I really do think she will look amazing right so all the way around I'm actually going to cut those um, hearts off because um, you don't have to have them if you don't want them there which is a good thing and that's what I like about Julia's designs you can do whatever you want with them to make them your own okay and you know what these are perfect for this weather as well it is absolutely boiling today um oh, super super warm oh, how cute is that i think i'm going to pop her there we're going to raise her up um i do need a sentiment so i'm going to get one of the sentiments off here and i think um i'm going to give it a i might give it a wash actually with my um watercolors so let's just pop her out of the way one second and then what I'm going to do is I like the idea of oh let's bring, let's bring back the days when social networking was a cocktail party oh that would be lovely if we could do that now wouldn't it so I'm going to do a wash over that um, just so that it turns the card a different colour um, so it fits in oh I've got a bit of green on that that's no good so yeah and then we'll cut that out and you know what I'm going to actually do some splashes oh, I want black splashes actually um, but I don't know if that's going to work just because of the fact that it's wet and we have black writing but you know what let's give it a whirl just sort of little smudgy bits so I've really watered that oh love it absolutely love it so there you go so we can change our sentiments as well so I finished with that now let me bring in my um oh, I don't know what you call it uh trimmer and that's, oh right there we go Okay, right, I need to lift that up because it is still wet. I should have really um, dried it, but never mind. These things happen. Okay, um, and then a 
a little bit off that bottom. I think. Yeah. I'm loving it. I love actually the fact that we've got that little bit of white as well. So, yeah. Right, let's round the corners as well. So, let me grab because um, I think that the corners on this are a bit too harsh. So I think rounding them will really help in this case. Yeah, definitely. Um, I have to sort of, there we go. There, much, much better. And then the last thing I'm going to do with this is um, let's grab a pen to edge it. Now I'm going to bring in my Glitter Mulberry pen, which is one of my favourite pens at the moment. Um, that sort of left a fluffy edge, um, but it is the cardstock that I use. Um, so I use really cheap cardstock when I print them out for the first time as my uh, yeah, as my copying ones, which um, which is why I don't normally use them. However, they are looking fab. So okay, so we're just going to go around with this glittery pen because I just think it works perfectly with it oh, gorgeous absolutely gorgeous okay and then um, don't, I want to add some glitter to it let's add some glitter to that heart there um, and let's add some glitter to her um, lips um, and what about glitter to those two strawberries as well and then I think I'm going to add glitter to all of the seeds as well, just to give it just that little bit more detail. So if you can hear any children, that is just my next door neighbours. So I do not blame them one bit for being outside because it is absolutely glorious. Okay, so that's done. Let's get her raised up. So... I'm just going to pop these on there okay and then let's raise this one up as well these are super super sticky so I think they will definitely stick without any problems right okay so I'm going to pop it down the sentiment first just like this when well, we can get the back enough anyway <laughs> Um, but yeah, I love this set. So um, I actually bought these before I knew that our lovely Julia, um, the dies to go with this set before our lovely Julia mentioned she was going to put this on sale, which I'm so glad that she has because it's just absolutely stunning set. Um, and yeah, these dies go perfectly. So I'd had actually planned on. I'm going to move her actually over just so that she's there. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Oh, how cute is that? That is well cute. Right. Okay. Let's get rid of those little bits of rubbish. My chair it seems to get squeakier and squeakier the hotter it gets. Right. I've just got these um, clear 3D pearl drops by Little Birdie. So um, let's just add a few little, actually, let's make sure there we go I just want a couple here there and now it would be like um be like water won't it so and these will look gorgeous once dry so yeah there we go so that's it that is my card for today guys i hope you've enjoyed it um i've absolutely loved making it i love the fact that it is a strawberry and it just goes perfectly with this set um in the, the description box below i will leave a code for you guys as well as a link to where you can buy this digi stamp set from um so do take advantage of the fact that they are half price um but oh, gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so thank you so much for being with me um yeah and i hope that um you're all well i hope you're all enjoying the gorgeous weather whether it stays like this we do not know um but yeah thank you for watching and 
hopefully we'll see you in my next video very very soon but until then happy crafting bye